In this video, we are going to talk about a web.config file. Web.config file is a configuration file related with the application and that can be used to store application specific settings and that settings can be uh, can be any data that you want to store related with the application or a database connection string or session state, error handling, security related, authentication related uh, settings and uh, in this how to we are going to learn that how to write and retrieve app settings and connection string settings from the web.config file so first first let us uh, see that how to write uh, these settings in order to write these settings so what we can do is that we can use the app settings or connection string settings related uh, tags so here is my you can see here app settings Please hold on let me just arrange them yeah so here is my app settings app settings is basically used to store any information that is related with the application or you can also store any kind of uh, data that you want to uh, put or that you want to use in throughout the application uh, here so here what I have done is that I have created one app settings called my key and uh, the value is my value and then again I have app setting called my key one and value is my value one in the same way we can we can create as many uh, number of app settings we want and these settings are basically stored in the form of key and value so for every app settings you can see that I have a key and then I have a value key is nothing but a unique string value and value can be anything uh, it can be integer or it can be a string or it can be data any kind of information you want to store but it must be stored in the form of a string now uh, the connection string is one of one other uh, thing that we can store here and uh, in order to add, uh, store the connection string we need to specify the add and the name name equal to the name of the connection string and then connection strings and the data that you want to store under the connection string so here in this case i am storing the sql server connection string uh, here now this is the way to uh, store the app settings and connection strings into the web.conv file now let us see how to retrieve these uh, settings so in order to, in order to retrieve the these settings what we can do is that uh, we can use the configuration manager so in order to use the configuration manager for this demonstration what i am doing is that i am simply uh, creating one level control on my aspx space looks like there is some problem in the web.config so let me see yeah there was a problem here now it should be ok <coughs> now in the code behind uh, we need to write uh, use one uh, namespace called system.configuration and that system.configuration namespace basically helps us to use the configuration manager object so let me just use that as well here so here is my code behind code and I notice that here I have used looks like there is some problem yeah now please hold on yeah now here you can see that uh, uh, what I have done is that using system.configuration namespace I am accessing the configuration manager uh, class and in the configuration manager class we have app settings that apps, app settings accepts key as the parameter it can be index or it can be key name as well so I have a specified key name as my parameter and I have stored the value of that my key means this my value into the app setting variable and then I have also used uh, configuration manager dot connection string and then I have passed the name of the connection string and then dot connection string you can either use dot connection string or you can simply write dot string both are same both will give you the same value and I have, I have stored the, uh, the, the connection string uh, data into the con str variable and then ultimately I am simply writing them into the uh, into the label control so now let us see that when I will run this page you will see that whatever information we have stored into the web.config file as a uh, app setting or connection string will be written on this page 
see here, here is my app setting app setting my value you can see this sorry my key and my key value is my value and then my conistr is having this much of information and the same is being written here on this page now let us tweak the code now instead of my key i want to use my key one now we'll notice that this value will be my value one here so you can see that now my value one one is there so this is the way to basically uh, store the information into the web.config file as a app setting and connection string and to retrieve the uh, those data from the web.config file the very important point to notice here is that we will have to use system.configuration namespace and using configuration manager we can access the app setting and connection strings uh, data from the web.config file now in this how to we are going to learn that how to encrypt dot config app settings and connection strings values for security reason there might be possibility that if you will store the uh, the connection database connection string or any sensitive data into the web.config config file whoever will have the access of the server will be able to read those data because that is generally stored into the plain text format here you can see that in the web.config file whatever data we are storing that is a simple plain text uh, format and anybody can read it and understand it for example this is the con uh, connection string setting of the, of the database now if anybody know uh, has access to your server he will be able to know that what is the server name what is the database name what is the user id and what is the password and he may he may pass this information to someone else who can damage your database so the best way is to encrypt these informations and store into the web.config file so that if if by chance anybody has got access to your server he will not be able to uh, understand what is written into these settings and he will not be able to damage your, your server in order to do that what i have done is that i have created uh, two uh, label control and two button let me show you that so here is you can see that i have yes i have here one label called lpl encrypted and then i have a button on click of the first button we are calling encrypt settings uh, server side method and then i have another label called lpl decrypted and on click of the second button we are calling decrypt settings server side method now let us create those method as well so here is my uh, method for first method is naturally encrypt settings so here is my encrypted settings let me uh, copy paste it and then i am also going to uh, copy paste my sorry decrypt setting method Now here we need to use two namespaces. The first will be system.configuration and the second will be system.web.configuration. System.configuration is used for configuration manager object and system.web.configuration is used for web configuration manager objects. Now let us see this code one by one. So on click of the first button we will execute encrypt uh, settings uh, method and in this encrypt setting method what we are doing is that uh, we are first opening the web.config file so in order to uh, open the web.config file we are using web configuration manager dot open web dot web configuration and then we are passing the application path means current application path using request dot application path this will give you the current application path once we have have called the open web configuration uh, method we will have the configuration the complete configuration file into the configuration object now using that object what we can do is that we can get the section now here i am getting the app setting section it means that this this section will be retrieved and we are storing into the configuration section object now first we are checking if that config section dot section information is protected all this protect is nothing but a property of this particular uh, section information uh, object now if it is already protected then do not do it but if it is not protected then what you do is you call this config config section 
configuration section dot section information dot protect section method and in this protect system method we will have to uh, uh, pass the provider name so here i am i have uh, passed rsa protected configuration provider and then configuration dot save now what it will do is that once we will call this config section dot section information dot protect section and by providing the uh, uh, security provider name or encryption provider name then what will happen is that it will basically encrypt the data of this section means app setting section and it will save this into the web dot configuration file so instead of now uh, looking at my value and my value one this information will be encrypted and will be stored here and then uh, we are simply uh, 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 retrieving the value of my key and uh, and writing on the label just to show that how it is looking like so now let us run this page so i am going to run this page here and uh, when i will click on the encrypt setting then this method will fire and what it does is that it basically go ahead and encrypt the string okay so uh, first let me show you what is the current uh, app setting looking like so it is looking like this now let me click encrypt settings and it it, it should be encrypted now let me refresh this page and you can see that app settings configuration mode and the same app settings has been changed to this much of information where all these informations are there that okay what is the provider use and encrypted data type what kind of data is there and all these things that we no need to worry about because notice that when I have when my code this configuration manager dot app settings had executed it has not given me the encrypted data but it has given me the data that really exist uh, before encryption you can see that it has given me my value that was really existing so this was the way to encrypt the data of a web.config file that exists under app settings now let us see how to decrypt the the information so in order to decrypt the information what we need to do is that again we need to open the web.config file so uh, let us open the web.config file here by uh, by using the open web configuration method and passing request dot application path notice that you will have to run your visual studio using administrator permission if you are going to uh, run this particular uh, page into the visual studio or if your application is hosted somewhere in IIS then that must have the administrator privilege so that he, it will be able to access the web configuration file if not then you will get some kind of error and that error may look like something like a system dot invalid operation exception fa failed to map the path and back and forward slash so again what have done is that i have opened the web dot uh, config file and stored into the configuration object and then i have get the section called app settings and then i'm checking whether it is protected if it is protected then call the unprotect section method and that unprotect section method will un unprotect the the data stored into the app settings and then it will save the data and then i'm again retrieving the information and that will simply print the data that has been uh, saved into my key app setting so let us see this now look at uh, the current uh, website uh, app app settings so is it looking like this now when i will decrypt th this then what it will do is that it will basically change to the earlier stage so ar my earlier my uh, app setting was looking like this and when i encrypted it is it is it is it has been changed to the earlier stage so this how to was basically uh, explaining how to encrypt uh, the app settings and how to decrypt the app setting information similarly you can uh, simply change the uh, uh, change the section name here for example if i want to encrypt the uh, connection string then i can simply use connection string here and in order to decrypt also you will have to use connection string and then uh, just to show that how to retrieve the data and whether the data that we are retrieving is really coming into decrypted format or not i'm just using this one okay now when i will run this page you will see that my connection string setting will be encrypted see here 
see my connection string setting has been encrypted and when I will decrypt it my connection string setting will be decrypted see here my connection string setting has been decrypted so encryption and decryption of web.config uh, section uh, is, is very easy you just need to use the provider and there can be many provider as I have written in this ebook uh, either you can use the RSA protected configuration provider or you can use the and data protection configuration provider it's up to you basically so I hope